human history is full of questions with very differing answers. Welcome back to Bumblebee. I am your stand-in host, Dana, and today we are talking about the top 10 controversial archaeological finds in recent history. At number 10, we have the oldest human hairs. Human hairs are incredibly tiny, and it's very easy for them to disintegrate, get caught and fall out, or simply be blown away. Before 2009, the oldest known hairs dated back to around 9,000 years ago. But the 2009 discovery of a fossilized piece of matter that had human hairs encased in it annihilated that record. Those human hairs dated back to almost 257,000 years ago. I didn't even know hair lasted that long especially after being digested. That's right, those human hairs were encased in a mound of fecal matter, a hyena as if we're getting technical here. And it was believed that it was the only reason it lasted as long as it did. This meant that humans were a part of the food chain and not as high as some may have believed. That's why it was controversial, because it rippled what we knew about how the history timeline worked and where we used to sit in the food chain. At number nine, we have the Hobbits. Many people have heard of the Peter Jackson version of the Hobbits, but when miniature remains of what seemed to be found on the island of Floors, it left scientists to believe that Hobbits did really exist in our time. The fossil stumped scientists because it couldn't be Homo sapiens because of the date it was found, but it couldn't be Homo erectus because of its size. Some archaeologists believe that it could have been a different human-related species, but that it couldn't be confirmed because of the lack of family tree. There have been several theories as to what the fossil really was, but there was nothing set in stone. It's controversial because we don't know where it came from in the timeline or what its origins are, and it can't be placed in our evolutionary timeline. So where does it belong? At number eight, we have the Copper Scroll. The year was 1947, and two Bedouin shepherds happened to stumble upon a cave where they thought some of their lost sheep may have been. They tossed a stone into the darkness of the cave, and instead of the sheep responding to being hit by a stone, what they heard was the sound of shattering pottery. Of course, now they were curious, and what they found was several clay jars filled with scrolls that were old and weathered. Today, they are known as the Dead Sea Scrolls and have been deemed one of the biggest archaeological finds of the 20th century. However, there was one jar that was slightly different from the others. That jar contained a copper scroll that had a cache of silver and gold that would have been worth up to around $3 million in today's currency. And it gave locations where the different amounts were hidden throughout Israel. The kicker is that no one has determined where exactly any of these deposits are. And to add just a hint more mystery, the Hebrew writing on the copper scroll was said to be 800 years older than the scroll itself. It's so controversial because there are so many parts to the find that don't quite fit together. At number seven, we have Egyptian cheese. You may be thinking, how can cheese be controversial? Well, after the tomb of Toms was found in the 19th century, it was promptly lost again because the archeologist who found it didn't record where it was located. After many years of searching, in 2018, the tomb was rediscovered and reopened. And in the tomb was one of the oldest known solid remnants of cheese to this day. It dates back to the 13th century BCE, and judging by its texture and chemical compound of its remains, it would have been a chevre type consistency and would have had an extremely acidic taste, which is very interesting to those of you cheese nerds out there. The controversy around it is what was in the cheese that made it last so long? Which animal's milk was it made of? And how did it remain in one solid piece? There are so many cheese related questions that have still gone unanswered. At number six, we have the bones of King Richard III. He perished in the Battle of Bosworth Field, and many historians believe that his remains would never be found, even though they were buried at the Church of the Grey Friars in Leicester. But over the span of five centuries, the exact location of his remains were ultimately lost, along with the location of where the church used to be. Archaeologists thought all hope was lost until 2004 when Philip Langley, who was a scholar of King Richard III, was walking through a Leicester parking lot. Then she had an overwhelming sensation that his remains were there underneath her. After many years of fighting and persistence, they excavated the parking lot in 2012. And wouldn't you know it, there he was, which proved her right. This is controversial because science enjoys proving intuition wrong, so her feeling of him being there was practically unexplained, and some would call it a fluke. But is it really? At number five, we have the Anglo-Saxon gold. Have you ever scanned the beach with a metal detector? Well, you may want to make it a new hobby. 
because in 2009, a man named Terry Herbert had taken his metal detector out to a farm and was just searching around for whatever bits of metal were lying about. When he happened to come across jewel encrusted weapons and around 4,000 pieces of Anglo-Saxon gold. It was called the Staffordshire Hoard and was worth nearly $5 million in today's exchange rate, which is an insane amount considering he just stumbled upon it in a field. It was dubbed one of the greatest finds in British archeological history. The controversial part? It wasn't a historian who found it, nor an archeologist. Just a guy with a really good metal detector. It's a little embarrassing, no? You'd think historians would have gotten wind of a gigantic stash of gold hoarded close enough to the surface for a metal detector to find it. At number four, we have a cover-up portrait of Queen Mary of Scots. She inherited the throne of Scotland at just six days old and ruled for 19 years until she was found out for treason, as she was plotting to end Queen Elizabeth I in 1582. Seeing Queen Mary would have inherited the throne because she and Elizabeth were cousins. Well, she was found out and, well, heads rolled. Because of this, she was removed from the situation and she was practically erased from history and painters would often cover up portraits of her with other things to remove her mark. One of these paintings was found, which proved this theory. In 2017, a portrait of Sir John Maitland was x-rayed and underneath him, they found a portrait of the queen that had gone undetected for up to 400 years. This wouldn't have been discovered if historians didn't have the ability to x-ray paintings and could have possibly been gone forever. At number three, we have the 4,000 year old board game. In 2018, an archeologist found a few interesting pieces of stonework in Azerbaijan. After analyzing the stonework further, researchers determined it was an example of the game 58 Holes from approximately 4,000 years ago. According to the Metropolitan Museum of Art, they think the game was intended to be a race between two players with game pieces in the form of pegs that were used to track each player's path. What's controversial about it is that some researchers have correlated it with the modern game Snakes and Ladders. And it's possible that the game that was found was its 4,000 year old ancestor. Whether or not this is true is entirely up to theory. Seeing as while both games do have similarities, they are different enough that they could be compared to any board game that has a path and little game pieces. Let us know what you think about that in the comments. At number two, we have the oldest known form of storytelling. We have discovered hundreds of cave paintings that date back to as early as 30,000 years ago. But in 2019, archeologists found paintings in Sulwazy that date back much further. As a matter of fact, they date back to 45,000 years ago. 15,000 years is a really big time gap, and yet the stories are still very similar. The paintings were both humans and animals, like wild pigs and ancestors of cows, and the pictures seemed to be people pursuing their food, and that one dated to about 43,000 years ago. In 2021, a cave very close to that one was discovered and had the paintings that dated back to around 45,000 years ago. There isn't much controversy around these as geological records are hard to argue, especially when they've been preserved as well as those caves were. And last but not least at number one, we have nutcrackers used by chimpanzees. This was huge, both as a scientific find and in our evolutionary timeline. It's been observed time and time again that chimps will use tools to make tasks easier and have figured out what works and what doesn't. So to be able to have found remnants of these tools from over 4,000 years ago is insane. In the 1960s, Jane Goodall observed chimps using tools like blades of grass and small twigs, but it was determined that it had been passed down from generation to generation. However, in 2007 West Africa, researchers found ancient rocks that showed signs of being used to crack open nuts at a chimpanzee settlement. This helps prove the evolution theory and was so controversial because it shows that chimps learned how to use stone tools far earlier than was originally expected, which is a huge deal in the grand scheme of things. The more we know, the closer we get to having every piece of the puzzle. And that has been our list for today. If there was anything you think we missed, you can let us know in the comments down below. And if you are buzzing for more content like this, you should subscribe to the channel. I have been your host, Dana, and thank you for tuning in to Bumblebee.